Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be seeing about greater than or equal to instruction. So this instruction is basically used to compare two values, whether one value is greater than or equal to the other value. Whenever the one digit or we can say whenever one integer is greater than or equal to another integer, then the output will be in the high state. So let us check how to use this in the TIA portal. Okay. So the logic remains the same whatever we have taken in the previous lecture okay so here also we will be requiring one no and let us take one uh, counter so here we are having this blank blocks we can convert this into counter right so we need a ctu so that's why i will be writing ctu here and pressing enter we will be getting this counter here right after this you will be requiring one compare instruction that is greater than equal to right after this we need an output okay so in this way we are having an input a, com a counter and a comparator and the output right so what are the tags required we'll be requiring one tag for input pulses we'll be requiring one tag for reset we'll be requiring one tag for memory okay so basically memory double word will be required and an output is required so let us make some tags here okay so the first tag required is we'll be requiring an input pulse okay so this is our input pulse and then we'll be requiring we'll be requiring one reset here okay after this we require a led okay so all the tags will be similar to the previous lectures tag okay and uh, here we'll be requiring a memory double word that is we'll be requiring a current value of the counter current value okay so this value will be compared with the preset value of the comparator okay so now what i'll do is i'll give the addresses md0 that is the double words address okay and here we'll be requiring memory double words so m uh, we write uh, double word right so d and w so automatically this double word will come here and so in this way all the tags whatever required are here right so now let us create the uh, all those tags to be taken into this logic right so the input pulse is required so this is our input pulse okay and then here we'll be requiring our reset that is i0.0 .0, uh, sorry 1 right and then here will be requiring a preset value suppose we are taking it as zero okay and uh, here will be requiring a current value that is uh, uh, we need a comparator or uh, memory double word right so md0 here okay and the same value should go to this comparator that is md0 again here okay so we need to select the data type here that is why it is in the red color right so we need to write the data type here so what will be the data type double integer we can take it as double integer and here we will be comparing it with the uh, the current value will be compared with this value so suppose we are taking it as 5 right so whenever the value is greater than or equal to 5 the output will be in the high state so q0.0 .0 is the output here okay so let me check what is the problem here uh, this is our LED and it has not been given a tag of Q0.0, .0 right? Okay, so this tag need not be required here now. Okay, so this is our Q0.0 .0 is the tag here. Okay, so in this way, our logic is fine now. Let me download this. after downloading let me go in the online mode right after going to online mode let us monitor the logic and observe what is going to happen so what is the instruction what is the comparator instruction that is greater than or equal to that means this value the current value should be equal to or greater than uh, greater than this current uh, this preset value right so still it is in the low because the output is in the low state because this value this uh, current value is less than okay because it is less as well as not equal to uh, this preset value right so let us 
change this value using a triggering pulse okay so i will be giving pulses and the value will be changing so in this way we i am giving pulses one by one so the value of this current value of this counter is changing accordingly this value is also changing because of the same address okay now whenever this value is equal to 5 see here greater than equal to right so whenever the value is equal to 5 that means whenever you will be giving the next pulse after 4 the value will be equal to 5 and this value is equal to this preset value that means the output will be in the high state whenever this value goes higher than this value then also the output will be in the high state so if you are able to observe whenever you will be giving the next pulse again the output will be in the high state right so again when you are giving the sixth pulse then also the output will be in the high state if you are able to observe so after five or equal to five the output will be in the high state so in this way this greater than or equal to instruction is working okay so now what we'll do is i'll just change this address okay so basically not i will change the address i'll change the instruction okay so here we'll be requiring the next instruction that is less than equal to right so we'll be requiring this one right so what we'll do is i'll just simply change this here okay i'm changing it here so automatically it has become less than equal to so now this value this current value whenever this value is less than or equal to 5 then the value then the output will be in the high state otherwise it will be in the low state so basically what will happen is whenever this value this current value becomes 6 that means not equal to 5 okay so the output will be in the low state right so let us observe what to, what is going to happen so let me download it once after downloading will be going in the online mode okay so here we'll be observing how it is happening right so i'm going in the online mode now okay after going to online mode i'll be monitoring the logic and let us observe what is going to happen okay so here again I'll be giving the pulse. So let me reset it once so that we'll be on the initial value that is zero. Okay. Now, if you're able to observe this value, this uh, counters, uh, this output is in the high state. Why? Because the value, current value is less than five. Okay. So this instruction is less than or equal to five. That's why the current value is less than five. The and that is why the output is in the high state so whenever this value will be greater than 5 then only the output will be in the low state okay so when i'm giving this pulses okay so we are actually increasing the value of current value of the counter as well as the inst compare instruction right so it is 4 now when you are giving the fifth pulse the output will be in the lowest state right so basically uh, this is an equal to instruction that's why it will be in, uh, on fifth pulse also it will be in the high state whenever we are giving the sixth pulse it will be in the low state so if you are able to observe this is how it is working right so remaining things that is greater than and less than instructions will be seeing in the next lecture so thank you